currently October 2nd. I am in Bon Azor. Today is my last day in Bon Azor. Um, it's been a crazy week. Nothing feels real. It's been a sad morning because Hadrut is being, being attacked again. It looks like I'm leaving to go to Canada on Sunday night. So today is my last full day in Bon Azor. And so I'm very grateful that Emma and I came to this bike ride because, um, it's a good way to say goodbye to Bon Azor for a few months. Yeah, sad times. Go educate yourself about the conflict in Artsakh. checked in with this vlog was yesterday when I started this vlog um, basically yesterday after we got back from the bike ride there was more terrible news from Hadrut um, and it was just very dark again and I went home and I packed and, and then this morning uh, came to Yerevan to try and figure things out for my flight tomorrow Cannot get a hold of Air France for the life of me, so I'm gonna go to the airport and try to get in touch with them. Um, and there's just more bad news, just bad news, bad news, bad news, and it's so overwhelming. Um, I'll say goodbye to a few people tonight, but 
I just like can't believe how this week is going by. I mean, I realize that it's only been a week since the fighting started, but it feels like it's been months. Like I was thinking in the ride over here um, about Monday and how I was in Kobayat on Monday and how that really feels like a month ago. Uh, it's been such a dense time and, and I feel like grief and sadness totally changes. The movement of time, isn't that right, Cosmo? Cosmo has no idea that he's going to Canada. So, yeah, I'm gonna go either see a friend or go pick up this certificate, depending on what is more convenient, and check in with you later. So I'm currently um, running to go meet a guy who's supposed to give me the certificate for Cosmo to be able to fly today, but we are in the middle of a meeting with a bunch of diasporans right now, um, trying to combine forces and prioritize what actions can be taken for war prevention. Um, and it's so amazing to feel like this sense of unity among the diaspora as well as, you know, with everybody here who's local, but it's so heavy, I mean, Everybody just has such a weight on their faces and a kind of a sense of paralysis of not knowing what to do. But I'm really, really grateful that I'm in Yerevan tonight for this meeting because it also means that I'll have a bit clearer direction of what I should be doing when I go to Canada. So I have to share what just happened. So the guy who was supposed to give me the certificate, he picks me up after like a very difficult 20 minutes of trying to find each other. We're driving in the car. And we're making small talk and I tell him that I'm from Artsakh. He thought that I wasn't like Armenian. Anyway, like long story short, we, we get to talking and he tells me that he was in Hadrut yesterday and he starts showing me pictures on his phone of Mestaged, which is where he was, which is my grandfather's village. And he was there and he was there less than 24 hours ago. And he had Ogri with him from Hadrut and he was like, listen, like if you didn't say you were from Karabakh, like I wouldn't give this to you, but he gave it to me, look. <laughs> it's in a beer bottle, but anyway, he got me the certificate, so everything is, is gonna be all set for tomorrow. At least this one thing is taken care of, and I ch this is the unity of what it means to be Armenian, right? Like, it's, I mean, I want to cry, but I can't cry. I'm going back into the meeting right now, but I swear, this is just like such a beautiful fucking nation, and I can't believe how lucky I am to actually be Armenian, honestly. What a sort of... behind Pushkin Street. Um, we came here to chill for a bit. And this is the one place in Yerevan where there are actually people because I swear it's so crazy how empty the city is right now. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see where people gathered and everything, <clears throat> but the atmosphere is very, it feels super surreal that I'm flying out tonight and I somehow don't even believe that I'll be on a plane tonight. It does not feel like I'm traveling, but this is my last day in, in Armenia for this year, I guess.
donations being gathered at every corner in Yerevan. today you guys who <laughs> have been taking care of me for the last day and always <laughs> Airport now, and they're not letting me take Cosmo, mm. which is the worst possible news. It's because France has an embargo on all transit flights that aren't direct for cargo, and so now Cosmo is staying here. It's a good thing I had a plan B, and I'm flying alone to Canada. Bye bye bye. understand how it can all be so violent, how it can all be so tragic, and how powerless we can feel. just boarded my Toronto flight and um, 
I don't know if I mentioned in this vlog or not, but. Bonjour. Merci, Oui, merci beaucoup. I don't know if I mentioned in this vlog, but I haven't been able to cry since last Sunday. And there have been multiple times when I've been on the verge of tears and like very emotional, but I haven't actually been able to cry and I've been waiting for it to come. And I thought I was gonna cry when I got onto the flight from Yerevan, but I was too numbed at that point. Anyway, then during this layover, I totally felt fine. And then I go to the gate um, to, to board the Toronto flight. And so I went to this other lady who wasn't like the original ticketer. She takes my passport and she looks at me and she goes, hi, yes. And I said, yes. And I asked her if she was Armenian and we immediately like started crying together because, well, for obvious reasons. And this is the, the thing that's so amazing about being Armenian is that, you know, you always meet an Armenian in the most random places all around the world in the moment that you need it. And this was a perfect example of that. And, like right at this moment, right? It's being bombed right, right at this moment. We're being killed and I'm just so angry and I'm so sad and anyway, but but it it, it does feel like a beautiful synchronicity that that woman was um, that, that she was Armenian and and oh God, like I, I will never forget her, you know what I mean? Like because I like looked into her eyes and I immediately felt that, you know, she cared as much as I do about what's happening and that's so important. <laughs> so so